Hello YouTube, Swag D by Grader here with a video today on my brand new Tika T3X. I uh, just got in the mail, it's a brand new gun. I think uh, the very first ones were shipped uh, maybe three, two weeks ago. But uh, I finally got the scope in and uh, wanted to do a little review here for you. So first off, it's going to be a bit of a comparison to the uh, T3. Um, this has got the same magazine. It's kind of hard to do with hand on camera. But it's the same magazine as the T3. Mine's a, uh, by the way, mine is a Tika T3X 308 left hand with stainless barrel. Uh, I'm right handed, but left eye dominant, so. But there's 308. It's the exact same mag. Comes with the three around. Um, when I was in uh, the local Beretta dealer's store, I took a T3 mag off the shelf and put it in there and it does fit so they're the exact same mag as the T3 um, the uh, mounts here are also T3 mounts these are just the Seiko OptiLock uh, stainless Tika mounts and uh, the one that has a pin is the front one and the back one does not have a pin but they're both uh, with their set screws over on this side which I kind of like it that way because it keeps everything nice and clean on the ejection side, but it doesn't really matter. The screws don't get in the way either way. Um, but yeah, I guess they got this new uh, bolt shroud on the back. Um, the stock on the T3X now has foam in it. I got this nice, really soft... Uh, I, I, it's like hard to show, but... It's way softer than the T3. Um, this is the removable board or hand grip. I guess this is the slanted. They have a, uh, a straight down grip. I don't know if like, the sporter is. Um, I don't know. I remember exactly what they call it, but this is removable. You got the, the screw here. Uh, this is the screw for taking the barrel off, but um, I think you just take out this screw and the piece comes off. I haven't messed with it. I haven't. This, I don't want to change it. I like it that way. Um, yeah, other than that, um, the only your changes I can think of where they, they put a little different texturing on here. Um, it's pretty grippy. It's very nice. Um, they widened out the ejection port a little bit on the sides, a little bit wider in here and here. Uh, I don't think they changed the top any. Maybe a bit deeper. Um, very minor changes to that. Uh, making it a little bit bigger, and uh, yeah, that's it. But uh, the scope I got on here, this is pretty cool. This is the Nikon Pro Staff 5, 4.5 5 by 18, and then it's a 40 millimeter scope. I'm using the extra low OptiLock mounts, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. All right, yeah, so. Here's the uh, action for you. You have the safety, which is up here on the left side. You pull the bolt up, pull it back as normal. The bolt releases on the back side. Push it in, pull the bolt out. Yep, there it goes. Yep, so you spin this and then take it off. There's a spring in here. Um, I know there's a couple aftermarket ones of these for the T3 you could get. You got a plastic or whatever. This is metal, which is very nice. Um, really I don't see any reason to change it it's just that you can and you just spin it towards the bolt and then pull it back and there's a spring in there to re reduce noise um, there's a bolt lock now that's made out of steel mounted into the frame instead of the uh, aluminum the extruded aluminum the uh, old T3 was so that's better. I'm not going to take it apart to show you that. Uh, there's plenty of pictures on the Tika website, but uh, that's mounted up in here. Um, other than that, pretty sweet gun. Uh, I haven't actually fired it yet because uh, I just got the scope in today and uh, haven't had time to do so. Uh, so I wanted to have my friends out and kind of show it off a little bit. Uh, oh, one other thing. This scope 
I got from Nikon, which uh, was a pretty decent deal for a 4.5 by 18. Uh, there's a focus knob over here. There's a, uh, a focus for the rectacle down here. This is your power selection, which is uh, pretty nice. And then lastly, they give you this uh, sunshade, is what they call it. And uh, it goes on top of here. Oh. I can thread it in. There. And so, if you're getting towards the afternoon, and you're trying to make a shot, this right here will block a lot of glare off of your lens, which uh, I just you know, briefly tested it out before I shot this video because it, it's actually uh, summed down now, but uh, it is very effective, surprisingly effective, and uh, I'm sure I will be using that out in the field. It's uh, just a hollow tube, but very nice. Nikon makes some great products. And then uh, lastly, they also give you with this um, different, they give you taller caps and they give you taller turrets. So uh, you can replace these and uh, put the big ones on. Um, I haven't messed with them yet. I'm probably only going to shoot this gun uh, within 500 yards. And I don't think I'm going to need the, uh, the bigger turrets for any reason. The smaller turrets are kind of more enclosed, tighter on me, and uh, less likely to snag if I'm carrying it in a sling. Uh, the Tika T3X does come with uh, sling mounts. It does not come with a uh, scope mount, which uh, from my understanding the T3 did. I don't have one, but the T3 did come with... Uh, some cheap scope mounts, but I, I bought some better ones because I wanted something a little more solid. But uh, that's it, guys. I'm gonna have to make a video pretty soon of shooting it. Either that, or I'll just tag it onto the back of this one. Peace. Here it is, loading, guys. Put the mag in. Okay, I got two rounds in it, not three, but you know, just enough to show you. Pull it back. Slide it in. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's like a double lock because of this. And then lift it up. Bullet flings out the back. And because it's tilted up, it went kind of up this way, but normally it flings out over here. You know, it goes up this way. And uh, it goes tip over tail like that. But uh, it usually fl it flings them pretty far, works pretty well. Fire when ready. <laughs> oh my god, Ding. I love that thing. Did you wing it? I don't know if you hit it. Oh, I nailed I don't like how it's left-sided, Jack. It's because you're right-handed. I know.